In this lesson, we're going to take a look at windows and their importance for housing content in your application. If you've done any web development before, you can think of windows as being like divs. Divs are containers that hold other divs and other content and essentially have a parent-child relationship with the divs that they're contained within or the divs that they contain. If you've done any AS2 or AS3 development, you can think of windows as um, being like movie clips. You can house movie clips within movie clips, and as well there are timeline issues uh, which don't have as direct correlation with windows. Uh, right now we're more concerned about the parent-child relationship. So what we're going to do is explore the properties of windows, and as well create a few windows within windows. So I've got a nav bar here at the top of the application, and it's got the title Understanding Windows, and at the bottom a tab, and I'm using the default tab group application that's created with Titanium. We'll head to the code, and this is uh, more or less the same code that's created by Titanium. I've stripped out some of the comments, and as well, I've gotten rid of the second tab. We'll head to line 9, where the window creation happens, and we see that this method, createWindow, has an object that it accepts that will essentially take the properties of the window and allow you to change them. It's important to note that this is an object. You can see the curly brace after the parentheses. So this is important because as you type uh, parameters for this object, you don't want to accidentally type a semicolon as if you were doing um, a, a straight up line of code as in line 5. Instead, we're going to separate our um, properties with commas as long as we're in the object. So we'll do the key, the colon, and then the uh, value. So one of the first things we can do that's pretty easy is to change the background image. So I'll type background image, colon, and then it takes a string. So I've got a folder called images in my project and a file called window-bg.png. Put a comma afterwards, save it, and now we'll exit from the application and re-render it. And there you see a new background image. And as you would suspect, you can create other background images if you want. It can have transparency because they are PNGs. So the, that offers you a pretty um, creative way to uh, leverage some well-designed images for backgrounds. We'll exit out of the application. Another thing we can do is add a border. So border colon 1, that's a true false. But we could also just do border width colon and then the number of pixels. So let's say uh, that 12, that's a thickness of 12, comma, border radius in pixels, let's say uh, 36, comma, and as well border color. And then this is a hex number with a pound sign in the beginning. And we'll say FCO. So this is a yellow, uh, close to yellow at least. And don't forget the comma. Save it. And let's take a look. We'll go to developer and we'll compile the application. And there we go. Our image, as you can see, has been cropped with the border radius, so that's pretty good. And we can see this yellow border, it's, it's pretty thick. I mean, it, it, it isn't really attractive, but this is more to show you that it can be done. Okay, so we'll close out the application, head back to the code. Okay, so now we'll create something a little more purposeful. So I'll go ahead and take out the border and background image examples. And now I'll create a sub-window. So line 13. We'll do a, a return var subwindow equals titanium dot ui dot create window. Open my parentheses, open the curly brace, close the curly brace, and close the parentheses, semicolon. It's a habit of mine. I just like to close them immediately so that way I don't forget later. Okay, so I don't need to include a title property because in this particular application design, the title property of the parent window will go to the nav bar. So we don't need a title necessarily here. Though if you do include one, it, it won't um, give you an error. What I want to do is 
create a height and width for the window. So let's say the height is 100 pixels, comma, and the width is 100 pixels. And then I want to also create a border width of, let's say, one pixel, border color, uh, let's do CCC, I think that's gray, I don't have my CSS colors down. Okay, so right now I've got a 100 by 100 window with a border of one and color, and let's keep going, let's try border radius, and let's do something a lot more subtle than before six pixels and save. Now the next thing we need to do is add this window to the parent window which is window one. So we'll go here to just above uh, this directive here to add the tab win one dot add parentheses sub window and parentheses and semicolon. Now we'll head to titanium and compile. Let's cross our fingers and hope that everything goes okay. It does, and now you can see this really faint window in the center. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and change the color. And what we'll do is instead of CCC, let's just use plain English, type red. Something with a little more, um, a little more contrast. Save that, and then compile it again. There we go. Okay, so now we have this red window, which is a child window of Win1. So what we can do is we can position this window within Win1, and to do that, we will use um, CSS style properties. That's sort of what we've been doing already. No particular order. I like to put the uh, positioning things at the top, so this is positioned from the top of the window. Let's say six pixels. Let's not put PX. This is not actual CSS. And then position from, let's say, the left, uh, six. Okay, let's take a look now. We will render the application, or compile it rather. And there it is. Okay, so now let's try and create another window. So let's make a new block of code, var. Uh, we'll call it sub window two equals titanium dot ui dot create window, open parentheses, open curly brace, close parentheses, close curly brace, semicolon. Okay, I could have copied all that, but it might be good for reinforcement for you for you to hear it again. Okay, now let's put it from the top, six pixels. Oops, don't want to do PX. From the left, well, we have to take into consideration that the, um, what I'm, well, what I'm trying to do is put this window essentially um, to the right of the window we just created. So I'll take the left um, margin that I created for subwindow one here, and as well add the width so that's 106, and then add six more, so that's 112. Okay, so 112. And the total width that you have to deal with, um, or, or maximum width on a mobile application for iPhone is 320 pixels, so it does take some careful planning here. Um, and you could possibly, in a web view, do pinch and zoom, but we're not gonna deal with that. So the height, Let's say it is also um, 100 pixels, and the width is, um, let's see, so we have six, let's say 250. Now, one thing, you can kind of notice this at the top of Dreamweaver, I haven't been putting my commas in, so it's trying to tell me that if I were to compile this, I would have errors. And then for um, time's sake, I'm going to copy the rest, the border properties.
we'll change the border color to purple. Now we'll head to Titanium and compile the app. Let's close out of it and compile. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to do that was pretty important. While I did create the window, the variable, I didn't add it. Uh, so I need to say win1 dot add sub window two. And now let's render uh, the application. Okay. So there we go. Looks like we've crossed off of the um, the border. That's not too good. Uh, and we notice we don't have the opportunity to to click and drag. Um, so yeah, we do have to manage the width and do some calculations. But you can see how there's a six pixel border around these windows that I've built in, and that's intentional. So now what we'll do to just continue to drill the uh, concept is we'll create a window within the window. So within this red window, which is sub-window 1, we'll create another window. We'll call this one var red, uh, red sub window equals titanium.ui.create window. And open parentheses, open curly brace, close curly brace, close parentheses. Okay. And we won't give it any um, positioning. Uh, we'll just let it be created in the center. Let's just say height is 25, width is 25, um, border width is let's say three border color is green and I keep forgetting my commas border radius is uh, 10 so it should have a somewhat strange look to it and then let's not forget to add it so if we want to add it to uh, the red window we'll take a look at it the red window here is sub-window, so we'll add it first to sub-window, sub-window.add, and then add red sub-window, colon, and then after we've added it to sub-window, we add sub-window to win1, and I'll, I'll go over the parent-child relationship here in a minute. Close the application and launch. Okay, so to understand parent-child relationships, the parent of all of the windows is this white window in the background. And in our code, that is win1. And then win1 consists of two uh, children. That's this red window and the purple window, which is being clipped here by the side of the screen. And that's sub-window and sub-window 2. Finally, sub-window, which is this red one, has a child, and that is red sub-window, and that's this greenish window here in the center. So we can affect um, parent-child relationships by, if we want, for instance, this red window to um, have a different opacity uh, and have all of its content affected, we would affect that variable. So let's go to sub-window, which is the red window. And we'll type comma, opacity, and this is a number between 0 and 1. So let's say 0.3. Save it and then compile. Okay, now you can see that both the parent and the child are affected. That's because it's applied to the parent. So what we'll be doing from here on out is we will be creating windows to house views. And um, sometimes we won't be creating uh, windows. For instance, when we use a table view, um, we don't need to necessarily create a window within that view to house other content. So it does get a little bit murky with um, 
mixing views and windows or understanding the relationship, but hopefully we'll make that clear.